Hello, hello, hello. Divine masculines. <laughs> I'm just showing out. I'm so excited I went. I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I took that leap of faith that I went. <sighs> the leap of faith. And I'm... It's funny because it's the same thing I feel like I've been saying for y'all to do for so long. And everyone needs readings. Everyone needs bills to take a leap of faith. And I'm here to testify that boy, it does make you feel different when you take a leap of faith. Okay. Let's get into y'all reading. What do we have? Divine Masculine. Were you emotionally confused? Divine Masculine. What do we have for our daily reading? This is kind of hard because I just did it last night, so it's kind of early, but I want to do it while I'm still in this spot because I have to leave this hotel. Hold on, just a second. I'm being told to go get something. Just a second, just a second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh. Chloe and Holly, forgive me. <laughs> That's my, you know what, we just my grounder. I'm so watery, I need lots of grounding. So we just my grounder. I'm not a big drinker, I will drink, I'm not a big drinker, because drinking just enhances the water and then sometimes I start drowning. I know you guys don't care about me that much, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. Okay, give me some flyers. I want some flyers today. I don't wanna pick nothing. Yeah, here we go. We got the hanged man in reverse. We got ace of, okay, so they're telling me no, I'm, they're not supposed to be in reverse, I'm just being extra, okay. So we got the hanged man and we got the ace of swords here. And we got the two of cups here too. This five of cups is supposed to be in reverse, but they said these ones, they just kinda did a whole bunch of stuff. So what I'm feeling so far is that you guys have sacrificed your emotional withdrawal. You, there may have been an emotional withdrawal with this five of cups that you're getting out of, and you are sacrificing that for a new perspective on love, on a soulmate, okay? It may be something that, ha I'm telling you, something happened all day yesterday, okay? Because when I started doing these readings, that hair font came out several times, marriage, um, spiritual teaching, spiritual lessons were all over there. And now this new perspective about a soulmate. So I don't know who I'm reading for, who's going to watch this. I, I, I feel like most times when I do these readings, the people I'm doing the readings for, the majority of the people have not seen them. I may be getting a little bit more views here and there, but I feel like the majority of people have not seen them. And I think that's what frustrates me the most about doing these. Because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that it's a whole new thought process behind a soulmate. A whole maybe you've changed. Ex like yesterday, I was talking about how somebody wants somebody to fit in the slot, right? And I think now there's, I don't know if it's the same person or if it's a different person, but just definitely a feeling of your idea of what you're looking for in somebody completely has changed. You've given you, somebody already has given up that slot idea because that was making them emotionally unhappy, confused, and 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 um, closed off. So what are we looking for in the new person now? What's this two of cups? What are we looking for in the new person? If you don't 100% know yet, grab a piece of paper and a pen. I'm trying to tell you we're gonna make a list. 
Six of swords in reverse. So someone who will speak up without fear of sinking the ship. Someone who will be authentic. Someone who will um, reach out, not be afraid to reach out to you. To talk to you. To go deep with you. Ooh, that sounds sexy. <laughs> the Scorpio in me came out. Ooh, that sounds sexy. It does. Someone who will just go deep with you. Honey. I feel it all the way through my body. Someone would just go deep with you and be vulnerable. Yes. You want someone who's able to... I think yesterday I said something about sticking the Titanic. And I think that it, it, it gives... This gives me a feeling of wanting, desiring somebody who will speak to you without fear of sticking the Titanic. Being raw and emotional. Because what happens is that people fear that they're going to sink the Titanic. And their fear of sinking the Titanic is what sinks the Titanic. That's what happened to me yesterday. I almost didn't open my mouth. And once I opened my mouth, everything changed. My fear created a whole different world than what reality could be if I just opened my mouth more. And I think you're starting to see that in yourself as well. And you're starting to see that for, um, that's something you desire out of a partner. And someone's going to be raw and just open their mouth and just say something. Or, or tell you what's going on. Tell you how they feel. Tell you about the love. Tell you, you know, just go deep with you. Just go deep with you. Go really in, um, yeah. Who's not manipulative, right? With this five of swords. Not manipulative. Because I feel like maybe you've been that way in the past or you've dealt with people like that in the past. Oh, and then we have this Ten of Pentacles upright. Someone who you can manifest money with. Somebody who you can manifest stability with. I think that's what overall you're looking for someone that you can manifest stability with. That's not going to sink that ship. That you guys can go through something and it won't be a problem. Like, you can express yourself openly and freely without judgment. See, that to me is love. That to me is unconditional love. And I think that's when you finally woke up to the fact that what you really want is unconditional love. Where you can just be yourself. And it feels like you want someone who you can, like, you can, you, so there's two types of people right now, right? There's people who are not being themselves authentically, and who want someone to be authentic with them, and they're not being authentic to, to the other person, or being authentic to themselves. And there's another group of people who are being authentic, and they're not receiving that authenticity back, or... They're not, um, they feel like when they're authentic, it's a problem. But when someone else is authentic with them, it's, it's Gucci. You know, like, oh, it's very one-sided. And I think you really do not want, I think, it, 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 this gives me a feeling of, you want something that's not one-sided. You want something where you're complete, completely raw and, and authentic. No matter what's going on. You can, you can, you can, this is that type of person, this is that type of energy where you are looking for someone that you can share life with. That's what love is supposed to be, sharing life, sharing the psychic attacks, sharing the demonic battles, sharing the, the, the emotional um, um, tidal waves that come. And have somebody who's just not going to judge you, but who's going to be there with you and love you and care about you. The entire, what's on the bottom of this deck here? The Three of Cups and the rest. I'm 
getting with this two of cups here, you really are looking, before you were looking for someone to fill up your cup, now you're looking for someone who's going to add to your cup. Right? The person I'm talking to here spent a long time trying to get their cup filled by somebody else. And now they know how to fill their own cup and they want someone else who can fill their own cup. And, but just offer some energy when needed. Not that you have to sit right here next to me and be exactly this person, but that when I reach out to you, you give me, you, you supply me. When you, when, when you reach out to me, I supply you. Something where you're in this together, truly together, and not pretend together. Not like just living together or not like just going to the mall together or on the phone together, but spiritually together. You want, it, it feels like you want something deep, something where like, even when the other person is not around you, you can feel them. If somebody's going through something, you can feel it with them. And you can help pull them up out of it. And if you're going through something, someone who can feel it with you and pull you up out of it. You want something balanced. I, I don't feel like the Six of Pentacles is going to come out sometime during this reading or, or the Justice card, one of the two. And these cards are like battling to come out. The devil. Mm-hmm. And the Ten of Cups. I knew Ten of Cups was coming, too. It was coming. You want someone who will love your dark side and your shadow side. Ooh, honey. These cards are speaking a love language to me today. I don't know about y'all. Because <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, someone loving your shadow side is Something completely different. Did I leave my little prophecy sign? Hold on, I don't think I left my little prophecy sign. Though. Okay, back to the video. Because I don't want them busting up in here and I'm in the middle of reading. Whew. And the more and more I, I see, this is mirrors getting clear. This obsidian scrying mirror is getting clear. Someone is desperate in desperate need of having their shadow side um, cared for. It's been maybe vicious, intense. Rude, condescending, like someone here needs their dark side fully um, um, romanced. The side that they don't ever want to show to anybody else, but the side that can be touched and be. Like, like, whoever I'm talking to, that's the way to win them over, is their shadow side, right? You can do anything you want, but if you are not on that, if you're not, um, if you can't make their shadow side fall in love, then whatever you're doing is for nothing, like, I don't know who that person is, but I definitely feel it, because I'm telling you, this shadow side is hard. Yeah, we got the King of Wands and we got some Magician. This King of Wands, it's like the love will tame the beast within. 
it gives me a feeling of this devil it should be this king of wands in reverse. And love will bring this and transform this devil down from being this shadowy beast to something that's more manageable. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to have to train, teach, love, nurture somebody who really ain't worth your time. What I'm saying is that's what it looks like someone is craving. It's for someone to see the darkness in them and be like, oh, honey, I love it anyway. I love that the most. It's the darkness. Everybody has darkness. So many people try to ignore it. When people express it, I love it. I, I feel like that's the best thing ever. When someone expresses their darkness. That's just me personally. But it definitely um, shows here that someone um, someone's darkness has been abused ridiculed, stomped on, made fun of, bullied. And it's turned them into a vengeful beast. But that vengeful beast just wanted love the entire time. You know the story of Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> oh my god, and now I'm getting this because another reader has said this a while ago and I never understood, like, but Beauty and the Beast is really a thing. Like, there's somebody who's a beauty and there's somebody who's a beast and I feel like Divine Masculine is a beast out here. And then they're looking for Belle. If you've ever seen Once Upon a Time, there's um, Belle and Rumpelstiltskin, who's the beast. But there's this whole idea that, I don't know, like, and I feel like this person is, I feel like you're trying to manifest this person. This person is trying to manifest you. A manifestation is, is trying to happen. And maybe you both are trying to manifest each other. I think you're both trying to manifest each other. Definitely, yeah. With this infinity symbol, you guys are both trying to manifest each other. You know what's funny too, is I tweeted 333 with this symbol earlier today, before I did this reading. I didn't know why, I just felt led to do it. I, I was like, oh, number three, 333, three, three, and whatever. It takes me three hours to get, um, from here, from where I am to back at home. So I was like, okay, 333 three, three is gonna take me three hours, 30 minutes, and 30, three hours and 33 minutes to get home. So 333, three, three, infinity, I'm sitting there thinking it's like safe travel and stuff, but apparently that's also a manifestation from the energy I'm getting right now. And that's a manifestation as well. I need to shave. This journey is a long road, and you're going through a couple of journeys all at the same time. You may not even know it. Your soul is going through several different hoops. You're not just worried about an ascension. You're also trying to be in a different kind of connection. Also trying to build up your business. Also trying to do 15 other Biscillian things. And it's just a feeling of, I don't think, I, it, I get in the feeling of you don't think that anybody understands how much you're actually going through. They just think you just do something and that's it, right? People probably think I'm just flipping cards and that's it. But it's a lot of energy that comes through with this. A lot of management of energy and a lot of removing myself. Like I can identify with this, but I'm not trying to put myself in this situation. Does that make sense? Like I'm trying to empathize without diving too deep up in it. You know, I think for this one, they want me to dive deep up in it, which is kind of the, I gotta get trained, I guess. And that three of cups came back, but it came back upright. You want to reunite with somebody or with a group of people. I'm getting with this two of cups, 
and the three of cups and this magician you're manifesting not only a soulmate but a community of soulmates a soul tribe you're trying to manifest a soul tribe trying to manifest a group of people um who you can hang like you know you understand what's like and i'm not gonna i'm not dismissing poly life at all polyamorous life i'm not dismissing it at all i personally would like to be a part of one to be honest but that's a whole other story for all the day but what it feels like is that you want a group of people around where you can be yourself with so that there's always someone somewhere that you can just contact and be raw so you never have to be guarded so even if one person is busy you have someone else you can contact and be raw now um there may be a different kind of connection from this two of cups but it's like-minded people people who are aligned together for similar purposes people are who are aligned for um similar reasons people who are aligned um within the same community you know what i mean definitely getting a lot of mail here a lot of um masculine energy a lot of energy of just this five of cups is strong there's a lot of energy of emotional confusion i think that we're clarifying what your confusion is throughout this reading and the, and the confusion is just that you want to be more connected so take this amethyst right helps heal crown chakra crown chakra is the chakra that's supposed to connect you with the outer world and i feel like you just feel so isolated and you want to come up out of it and you know that you need to come up you have a new perspective about coming up out of it about how it's going to be beneficial to you So, we got Ten of Wands in reverse. There's a cycle that's ending, right? A struggle to take action that's ending. I don't know what particular action you need to take that's for you in your life, but it may have been hard for you to take action on something I see that cycle ending slowly with it being in reverse, but I do see it ending. With the Six of Wands, it's a victory, right? You won. You may have won over someone who was watching you, or maybe you won over the idea that you have to be a watcher and not a doer. With the Fool card, you want a new beginning, right? There's a new beginning. You're no longer going to be the watcher. You're going to be the doer. You're going to be the person that takes action. You're going to be the person that, that um, you're going to be the person that creates instead of watching other people create. You're going to be the person that, that, um, is expressive when no one else will express themselves. You're going to be the person that is, um, I don't know, like, you're going to be the person that leads. That leads, maybe by example. Not necessarily means that you have to do everything perfectly, but that that you will take the chance where other people won't and inspire other people to do so. Um, then we have the tower here, Scorpio card. Um, I just feel the need to say it because the devil's Capricorn is the Scorpio. I don't know why I feel the need to say just those signs. Um, I mean, Gemini for the magician too. But it's a realization, it's a tower moment, right? A transformation, a realization. Here's the thing about um, the Scorpio cards and these tarot decks. It's that they all kind of work together. 
right? There's judgment, there's the tower. Um, but both of those cards, especially, there's the death card. Where if you think about all three of those cards together, there's a tower, there's something that happens. There's judgment. You go deep within yourself to figure out what it is that's happening, doing shadow work, which is super, super important. And then there's a death card where you kill off that part of you that is not serving you because you had the realization from this tower. So this tower is like the first part has begun. You've had this realization, right? Um, maybe some of you may have had it during this reading. I think some of you are forming a more solid identity. I get that feeling that some of you are forming a more solid identity within yourselves. And some of you are really struggling with having people see you the way that you see you. Or to have people see you, or seeing yourself like POV by Ariana Grande, POV, POV. You're struggling to see yourself from someone else's point of view. Someone else may think of you completely different than how you think of yourself. Because you only see your shadow side. You don't see all the good that you do. And a lot with these readings, we're talking about, okay, healing your shadow side and doing this, this, and that. And you may not feel like people see the good in you or people see the, the you that um, triumphs. But it's definitely, it shines. It shines so bright. It does. If you are a Scorpio watching this, just know that our energy is going to shine so bright. Our, that and we, we will be so blind to them because we don't, um, we tend to just see our shadow side and see what we need to work on and what we need to fix and how we're not um, happy all the time and not conventionally whatever, but how we don't ne we may not fit in with the way society is um, at this moment of this is you all can't tell me judgment came out judgment you all cannot tell me. That these cards don't be saying that, and y'all can't tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. Because, um, because I'm not just talking about this, and I just said Scorpio energy. It's just talking about Scorpio and both. Girl, girl, if you ain't been watching this channel, <laughs> you better find a way to subscribe. Because, um, baby, honey, baby, sugar, plum, and doll. The um, the work is happening here. If you want to be ready for this age of Aquarius, this is where you gotta come. Living shout to roll because I'm telling you, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm I tell you how I feel it. Sometimes it may be kind of harsh. Sometimes it's it's like this. So we just gotta have a sit down conversation. And I think so many people are in need of a sit-down conversation. Yes, they are, because of this Four of Cups. They refusing. I'm getting you refusing help. You refusing love. And you looking inside yourself and realize how much you've refused. And how closed off you've been. And how closed off you may continue to be, and how because of pain. And again, I will continuously say, pain, pain, pain. Do you, you don't ever act like you never have had pain before. Okay, if you have pain, act like you've had pain. Why? Because if you act like you haven't had pain, that sends a message out there to the world, to the universe, that you haven't learned your lesson. So if you accept the fact that you've had pain before, you've also accept. Um, and you also put it out into the ether that you've learned your lesson and you're past this. Right. That you're ready for something new. That you're ready for this new beginning that you're talking about. You put that out there. And I think you're having that tower looking deep within yourself to figure out what, what, what am I blocking myself from next? What, what, any blockages that I have, I want to erase them. 
erase them. Erase them. Let them just flow out of you. Energetically. Let them just flow. Ooh, okay. And we got the Queen of Cups here. Yeah. Let it flow like this Queen of Cups with her cup upside down. You are probably feeling emotionally drained. And what you need to do is, is open up the cup, open up this chalice and release this um, release this uh, negative energy down there. This this chalice right here that she has this in this particular moment, I feel like it's full of black water. It's full of dark water, negative water that needs to just open up the cap and just let it pour out and never deal with it again. And then when you go and refill back up your cup, refill back up your cup with something great. Get some other people who refill it up with something great. Get around that community of people who will fill it up with something great. Manifest an internal everlasting flow of water in your life. I'm really getting this a Scorpio in here. I'm a Scorpio too, so hey. I might halfway be reading for myself. Shit, I don't know. You know, they say divine master and divine families are both energies within each other, right? So I really started to do this because I know we've been working a lot of people, um, a lot of readers, a lot of um, energy has been spent on healing up the feminine energy. But we still have, we still operate with masculine energy and we also need to heal the masculine energy. Mm -hmm. You see how that shot out? That five of wands. We working on it. The inner fight. To me, this five of wands is always when your person, your inner personalities are fighting with each other. I'm getting that that is doesn't need, necessarily need to end, but all your personalities should be in love with each other. And when your personalities are in love with each other, they attract other personalities that are in love with each other. Like, when you love the spirits, the messages, the personalities, when you are embracing a, um, a love of your life, you will attract other people who embrace a love of their life. With this Three of Cups here, that's how this community gets built. This community gets built off of your self-love, honestly. Yeah, and we got the chariot here. Somebody's going towards something. I think something to me this is just like someone's getting carried towards something. They're not they're not walking, they're being carried. They're being spiritually lifted and sent to something or sent to somebody. They're being sent on a mission. To create this community. Yeah. Seven of Wands, they've been sent on a mission to grow. Eight of Wands, they're not meant to work. They're meant to... Like, you may be feeling like you're meant to work, but you're not meant to work. You're meant to connect. You're meant to vibe. You're meant to exist. You're meant to... rest to build up energy and you got this wheel of fortune card again i'm saying i think it's a scorpio involved in this heat scorpio taurus um leo and aquarius but this wheel of fortune when you let yourself have something when you let yourself break down that wall and let someone in it's going to be like hitting the lottery, right? Now, some of you may actually hit the lottery, but it's going to be like hitting the lottery. Like, once you let your guard down for somebody or something, and just be open and raw as possible, it comes. The universe wants us to be raw. The universe, God doesn't ever want us to be um, withholding. He made us with all these different emotions, all these different feelings, all these different spiritual gifts to show them off. Not necessarily like in a braggy way, but to embody them. 
and it just it gets this feeling of somebody needs help embodying their gifts and somebody is manifesting that help and I think somebody is also realizing that the help has came several times now that would be me that one the help has come several times but you have blocked it off because of whatever reason maybe you didn't feel like you were worthy of it maybe you didn't feel like it, maybe you felt like you were being deceived or lied to after all the times you've been lied to previously. Maybe you just felt like it was never going to be a thing and you just felt like it was never going to um, show itself the way it did. You just, but now the way this world is changing, the world is changing today. The world has been changing. The world is, is slowly turning into a whole different place. This whole year, you've seen this world as a whole different place. Let the old world go. And then the world card flew up. Tell me I don't know what I'm doing. The world came out. Another fixed sign card. The end of a cycle. So you got the world and the Wheel of Fortune together. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. You got both these cards together, Divine Masculine. The world is changing. The cycle that we've been in and the entire world is ending. And you have a chance to create a whole new world for yourself. A world of victory. Hold on, I can't get this card. A world where you don't work, but you are victorious, right? Where, where victory is not based on whether you have a nine to five. Victory is based on uh, how beautiful and light your soul feels, how supported you feel, how um, how magical you feel. I, I, part of me just wants to end the reading. I think I am just going to end the reading here because... The Wheel of Fortune in the world, I'm just looking like, wow. Yeah, that's deep, you yeah. know. Y'all may not realize how deep this is, but some things happen whenever I start saying something and then the card falls out, the exact card, I'm like, yeah, I believe it's going to fall out or should fall out or the same thing I'm talking about. When, when both of these cards mean the ends of a cycle, this is the end of two cycles, right? We got three tens. We got ten of pentacles, ten of wands, and ten of cups. And we got the world and the wheel of fortune. And we got the new beginnings here with this fool card. So there's a newness upon all of this. There's a newness here with this tower. There's a newness. There's a newness. There's a newness. There's something that's different. There's something that's changing. There's something that's being manifested. There's something that's being worked out for you because you've asked for it. There's something that is being um, presented to you in a different way because you've asked to see it with more clarity. I, I, again, I, you know your life better than me, but what I'm trying to tell you is that with the, the way that the world is going, anything you thought you maybe you couldn't do, erase that thought out of your mind. That you can. And with this Wheel of Fortune and this World card and how I'm feeling today and how I'm feeling after this. <laughs> you can manifest whatever the hell you want. Really. It may not look how you want it. It may not sound how you want it. It may not come out the way you want it to come out. But let it come. Don't block it with this Four, four of Cups. Don't block it. Let it come. Because the people you're attracting now the pe are people that you've manifested. The people that you're attracting now, the people who are coming in your life now are the people you have manifested and the people who you don't have to be so guarded with because you've manifested, you've wished and asked and prayed for people that you don't have to be guarded with, for people that you can be yourself with, who you be open with. And they're coming. You're, uh, this is a wish fulfillment. This is a wish fulfillment reading. Divine Masculine, you're getting a wish fulfillment. You're getting out of this dark place. By hook or crook, you're getting carried out of that dark place. 
getting carried out, okay? Getting carried out towards victory. You see how this um, victorious person is on this horse being carried out. You're being carried out, okay? This is so beautiful. I don't even want to put these cards up, y'all. I just like the energy I'm feeling. And I feel a little bit weak right now because I did all these readings yesterday and everything like that. I need to eat and everything like that, whatever. But I still feel what I feel. That's beautiful. Let me just hug you. <laughs> like, I really could. I just want to hug you. Because I think we all, um, our collective energies need this. I really feel like I'm talking to a Scorpio. I really feel like I'm talking to um, black men. I really feel like I'm talking to creative people. I really feel like I'm talking to people um, from this reading. I feel more like I'm talking to people who more aligned with the pain and the damage that I went through and still go through. I'm not gonna say I'm completely done with it because clearly I'm still going through it, but with this reading, I feel like I've connected with people who have similar struggles and who understand the pain that comes with those struggles. And we're all, I think, we're hoping to manifest the community together. And I think that we're all getting each other now. We're all finding each other because we've all asked for the same thing, to find people more like us, to find people who were been through some of the similar things that we've been through, who felt this pain, who felt this deep, dark um, um, seed grow inside, who felt this, 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 this shadow side being taken over. With this devil card, who felt this devil, who felt this shadow card, this shadow side taken over and causing chaos out of pain, out of hurt, out of misery in that five of cups energy. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Because if I keep, I'm gonna keep going forever. So let me just stop the reading now. I hope anybody who watches this is blessed. Anybody who hears about this is blessed. Please subscribe to the channel. If you know anybody that may need some healing some type of way, have them subscribe to the channel. Look. They may not know Tara. Ooh, and the Empress is on the bottom of this deck. You're meeting your, your Empress. Divine Masculine. This is your Divine Feminine, this Empress. At the bottom of this deck. Helping you, sending you love and light and prayers and wish and hope. They may get mad at you. They may not um, um, understand. Some, they un, like they understand what you're going through, but they understand why you don't reach out to them to, if for their help. But they do understand that you do need some help and you need some love. And I think you're getting sent love from everywhere. From heaven. From earth. Hell, even from hell a little bit. Your shadow side, I think, is is you've confronted it, and now that you've confronted it, it's on your side now. You you got it into shape. You whipped it into shape. So this is such a beautiful reading. This is such a healing reading. I feel all the way down to my toes, all the way down to my toes. Oh, I feel something. Ugh. My damn chair ran off my foot. All right, y'all. If you resonate with anything in this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you did not resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Get it to somebody who does resonate with it. I don't know. But let me tell you this. It's a new world. I love you all. Bye.